This gentleman's folder is one that was featured in the Posh EDC video and that was tagged through Patty's Potato Peelers. Uh, this is one for size and weight uh, that you won't actually notice that it's being carried. As a place we're going to be looking at this knife here. We'll go through some of the specs and uh, my opinions on it. Uh, this is a two knife S and S that stands for Saturday Night Special, uh, named by the Two Knife Facebook community. And thank you to Two Knife uh, Stas Twenty Three, uh, Zarek Forty Two for the opportunity to be part of this pass around group. So we'll have some other knives coming through as well. This one came from Eugene Kwan, so check out his channel, and it'll be going over to EDC Gear Review uh, as well. So my opinion as far as the initial impression for a buy, borrow, or avoid, as far as the style and action, I would be a buy, uh, but as far as the size goes, uh, that would be where it would be a borrow for the initial impression. So we'll look at some of the sizing comparison uh, as far as the hand sizing, and then do check out as far as Dave Warren and Rebecca Warren, uh, they are the one, the uh, US representatives for Tuya Knife, and then he did actually just release his own design uh, so for adult uh, female's hand or women's hand, uh, this is going to be how this is going to sit. So see, very much a small size and then also for that angle as far as how you would normally carry it for adult female and then adult male. So this isn't anything like a Reich Hummingbird, I pulled up the specs on that just to see how small that one is, and that one is microscopic. Uh, so this one is still small, still usable uh, for it, uh, but that's gonna be that size there. So adult male, S35VN. Uh, so that's gonna be the steel on this knife here. So for S35VN, uh, that's gonna be one that is gonna be now fairly high on the list for most of it. So that's gonna be up here. So S35VN for corrosion resistance. Uh, you're going to also have it on the other side for uh, right on the upper side here. That's for the hardness. And then you're going to have for wear resistance uh, for S35 uh, VN is also going to be kind of the upper 75%. So in uh, going together with a lot of this information, you're going to have kind of the edge retention uh, for the blade itself. And that's going to be uh, also probably about that 75th percentile. Uh, between the other knife steels uh, in this range. Uh, so for this one, it does have uh, very much a fidget factor uh, for the knife. Uh, it is only actuated through the light switch uh, method. Uh, so you could try and do the push button, uh, but uh, as far as how much pressure uh, to put on it, uh, that's gonna actually leave more indentation than actually um, action that open. So we're going to look at some of the comparisons between some of the other knives that I have. Similar sizing, also ones that I would consider kind of that uh, gentleman's uh, carry uh, to get a comparison uh, from this knife uh, to the other. So let me back that out a little bit and we'll kind of look at those. So here's going to be some of the comparisons. Uh, this is going to be the Tier SNS. Uh, this one's going to be the CRKT Ruger collaboration. Uh, that's going to be the LCK. Uh, Kershaw, we have the fraction. And then we have the Magnum by Boker. Uh, that's going to be the alligator. Uh, so these are going to be some that I consider to be a gentleman's carry that I have in uh, my collection currently or have in my possession. Uh, so that's going to be some, kind of where it sits for this. So uh, personally, I think that it should be a little bit deeper carry uh, for that gentleman's carry. So maybe even use like net upper screw. Again, there's probably some other design elements to that as far as why you would not want to do that. Uh, but as far as a gentleman's carry also, um, I don't think that you would be having a, um, a lanyard uh, for like with a tuxedo or something dressy, but uh, that is there available for you if you do want it. Uh, so we're going to look at that. I will open these up and see how they are in comparison to each other and we'll kind of go from there. So a comparison in open position, uh, so we have the SNS here. Uh, this is one I just had sitting around. This is actually one that's similar sizing. Uh, but there's an old school Gerber. This is the Easy Out Junior. Uh, so that's kind of where that sits there for that oldie knife there. And then we do have the Ruger LCK. 
so this is the kind of the sizing that I think if they just made uh, the SNS uh, in this size uh, with the modified steel or the better steel qualities, the titanium, uh, this uh, would have uh, been kind of that hotcakes type of seller uh, for the knife because this should be probably about 25% bigger uh, for me, at least my opinion on it. Uh, but this one uh, does sit well. Uh, it does also have that deep carry pocket clip for it uh, for that uh, Ruger CRKT LCK. Uh, then we roll into the Kershaw. Just a fraction. The Magnum Alligator. Quite a bit larger than the other one. So for the action itself, uh, so I use a Lyman pull gauge uh, to give you an idea as far as the weight uh, for the pull on the knife. Uh, so it seems to be about a two to three pound is a fairly enjoyable uh, flipping action. Granted, uh, it's not gonna be the end all be all, uh, but it's just kind of something to get an idea uh, for the knife and give you some more data uh, to work with uh, for this knife as well. So one pound, 11.6 ounces and uh, 783 grams. Uh, so that's where it does come into that fidget factor for this knife. Uh, and that's something that is enjoyable uh, for the time that I did have it uh, with me. So we're gonna look at the weight on this knife as well. Uh, so the, um, the specifications list for uh, one ounce, uh, 1.41 1 ounces. So we'll just double check on that one uh, with the scale here. So, yep, spot on with that, uh, 1.4. Uh, so it doesn't go any further than that. Uh, shortcut reviews, uh, he did introduce me to the pocket microscope. So I have been using that uh, for uh, some of the knife reviews as well. So I did bring in as far as uh, the tip on this knife, I'll bring in a picture down here for it, uh, but uh, the tip is not uh, totally uh, pointy, uh, so it is still stabby and everything else, but you can kind of see that little bit of a round to it. And then also for uh, the grind itself, uh, you're gonna see that it's gonna be still noticeable as far as the, uh, part of that belt grind uh, uh, with the knife, uh, but it does have kind of a little bit of a polish uh, to the very edge of the blade. Uh, so that's some things that uh, are pretty interesting uh, for that. And then we're gonna be looking at the sizing as well. Uh, so it says it should be about 2.55 inches uh, for the actual blade and then uh, 3.1 uh, for the handle. So we'll roll into uh, those slides as well. So we're gonna roll into the sharpness tester. There's gonna be my homemade one uh, with my fidget spinner and the best media, which is preloaded. Uh, so this is gonna be one that uh, we'll be using the Lyman pull gauge for still. And then we'll see what it is as far as that weight uh, to sever that media uh, for this knife. And I put that about the middle of the recurve on this blade here to see where it is. So 370, uh, so that's kind of on the high end um, high meaning not as sharp, uh, so I'm not too sure why that is, but this is a pass round one, so uh, any of the cutting, so it has not been sharpened uh, since getting it in. In this level here, uh, so it's kind of getting close to that area uh, where it needs some maintenance on it. Uh, so for this one here, uh, that is in that, in that middle of that recurve area uh, for the blade, uh, but as you see it's kind of um, into that new high-end uh, cutlery edge, uh, but it's getting closer uh, to the edge needing maintenance uh, in this section. And I haven't cut anything with it uh, really, uh, so um, that's kind of be something that I might need a little bit of servicing uh, for that blade. So the initial opinion uh, on it was for a buy bar or a void was to buy for the styling and the action, and then uh, for the sizing as more of a borrow. 
Uh, so after all the testing and kind of having it uh, for the time period, uh, for me, uh, I would probably avoid it uh, because just for the sizing, uh, it's not really uh, something that I'm looking for. Uh, it's I think that about that 25% larger uh, would be a good point for uh, at least myself and possibly a lot of other folks. And then uh, for that recurve, no, I would prefer that not be part of the blade. Uh, so maybe with that 25% larger, uh, you could actually um, have that be just a full radius uh, for uh, that uh, that angle. Uh, so now if you do want to pick it up though, because uh, every knife, uh, somebody's going to love it and then there's going to be opinions on it. But if you do want to pick it up, uh, you can get it through Dave and Rebecca. Uh, they do have a $5 off coupon code, uh, which is VIP5, and you can get it directly through their website and I'll have that listed down below. Uh, but uh, those are some of the specs and my opinion on it and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and then also if you do enjoy the content uh, then do uh, subscribe and then uh, let other people know about it as well thanks for your time